Our first day in the Dark Forest. Charlie, old buddy. Ruination! You two! Long time no see. Listen, you buffoons! I'm trying to go straight! Don't ruin this for me! Hmm? No! I did not order any dynamite! Get that out of here! What a yuckster. I love that guy. See you soon, time, boys. This is my first day and all my co-workers brought them to share with me. How thoughtful. Hey, back off my beloga. <laughs> Talk about a hostile work environment. Time to get to work. For this project, I'll start with a nice heater. It's great for anything you want to keep outside. It's important in we're working to use proper measurements. The only measuring in Cape I trust is gents. And gents saws are guaranteed to stay sharp. What are you doing? Well, I thought I'd use my premium jet products to build a nice little birdhouse for all the pigeons around. We're building a skyscraper! You're fired! Howdy there, Bendy. Working hard or hardly working, am I right? We've been here about 15 minutes. Time to head on home. Well, can't really just leave these here until the boss is able to do with them. Work sure is fun. Can't wait to go back tomorrow. I just took a short midday snooze. There goes good old Bendy taking his afternoon Ooh. nap. Hi! No fishing on the pier, you lad lovers! Hey! What are you two doing here? I just had the strangest thing that I was about to go over a giant. Hour and hour. What a wonderful day! Edgar! Save us, Edgar! Bendy? The Puncher Gang's number one enemy, destined for certain doom. What would Charlie do? Charlie will want to do in Bendy himself! Thank goodness Edgar was the one to see us, and not Charlie or Barley. Uh, I sure owe you one, Edgar. Just don't tell the gang, okay? You know, that river water was filthy. I could use another bath. Wait! Wasn't something I said? Just more feet messing them up now. The 
The only feet I don't mind tromping around here in his camels. She's good to me. I'll make sure I empty her garbage every day just to see how she's doing. Speaking of which, I heard her talking with Sammy the other day. If I'd know better, I'd say there was magic there. But who am I to judge? I think they saw me looking though. So I just tipped my hat and said, see you later. I'm out of here. Bad day, Michael Ben. I must arrive in Idaho, we are one. Time to sign the potato contract. If I am even one minute late, you will never conduct a trade in this country ever again. We can do this. We've been on time. Once. Hmm? Uh, no big deal, Bendy. Boss, where a lot of us is just the richest town in the world that could crush you like a bug. We don't have time for romance! I just had to be the one that conducted a little legend that could fall in love! Huh? There's no beach near Idaho, Iowa! Now, nah, here, here! What is this top full of eight? Just a little shortcut, Mr. Lybox. We're making great time! Way better, babe! Hey. Oh. Hmm? <laughs> it's okay. There's plenty of trains on the tracks. Look! Sometimes the versions just lead us toward our final destination. I was skeptical, Mr. Bendy, but you pulled to the station right on time. Mm. Mm. Hmm? Here you lovesick locomotive! You can't leave me here! I don't even like potato corn! The work of a voice actress can be a tough one, Mama. You never know what you're going to be voicing next. When you act in a proper theater, you get to play romantic leads, maybe a queen, some kind of villain. But when you work for Joey Drew, you never know. I think that's why I love it so much. Every day is a surprise. Though, I do feel like I've been stuck with some little parts lately. Nothing really I can write home about. Sammy, our our music director, was also telling me they're working on a new character upstairs. Might require a female touch. I've got a good feeling something great is going to happen. Yar! Here's such two filthy pirates, Bendy Beer and First Mate Forrest, sleeping off too much root beer. Meanwhile, Bile Barley, their long time foe, sits but feet away. And that's exactly where the lost treasure of the Flying Dutchman lives! What's this? First Mate Forrest has perked up at the mention of treasure? Got the app, Mary Bendy Beard. Let's have great. To our trusted sconer, First Mate Forrest! And to bury treasure to buy more root beers! According to the map, we should be seeing a mermaid soon. 
Luckily, we didn't have to go past that sea monster. Those are just illustrations, you scurvy dog! Excuse me, Captain. I am no dog but a wolf. And what do you mean? I'm just an illustration. Hello! Hello. I'm 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 I remember posing with this. Must have been a century ago. Now they're flying their stable. He was a pirate. Uh. Friends of yours? Bye, Bartley Ship! Hey, want all you amateur pirates out of my waters. If I help you, Klaus will never stay here again. Oh, of course! Bunny Beard and his blasted first mate. Being pushed along by a mermaid, they must be after me treasure! Now the map says to look for a big X. Boys, for the last time, it's just an illustration! Oh! Told ya! We've hit it for us all time! The treasure is ours! Your treasure? The treasure is mine! It was only paper? No doubloons? To whoever finds this empty chest, you're gonna have to work a lot harder to get my treasure. Signed, The Flying Dutch Devil. Bon voyage, Bale Barley! Enjoy your empty treasure chest! Yeah, it wouldn't fit in our boat anyway. Another day, another salty seafaring adventure! Thank you, thank you, you're too kind! For my first trick, an angel classic. See? There's nothing inside. But when I reach in, there is something I certainly didn't expect. Oh, 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 oh. Oh! Are you ready for the showstopper, Boris? Well, that trick didn't go as planned. I'm not sure about my act, you know. Being sawn in half. Oh, Boris, it's just an act. I'm sure that Alger was. Maybe planned! And now for my lovely assistant, Alice Angel! Boo, baby! We love you, Alice! Woo! Mystic Arts, I compel you to levitate the lovely angel! Abracadabra-do! Percusum, percusum! Alakazamarama! See, good people in New York, she's not even hanging from a single wire! You may rise, Miss Alice! Andy! And thus ends my swirling, twirling, whirlwind trick. Fuck abs! Do the trick right! We want Alice back! Oh, I need a trash can! Start! And now for the final act, sawing a wolf in half! I said, sawing a wolf in half! Boris, Boris! Boo! You stank! Oops, there's my good tomato! And now, the magician will disappear! Now making an entire New York pizza disappear? That's a real trick! Another, senor! Don't mind if I do!
Every time I turn around, there's more work to do. Four cartoons almost complete, and all of them need a tune by tomorrow. Typical Joey planning. I'm working so much, I'm starting to see Bendy in my sleep. That smile. He's always watching me. A few more months of this, I wouldn't be surprised if that grinning demon drove me completely insane. That smile. Something's just wrong with that smile. Can't put my finger on it. Shake it off, Sammy. Best get back to your songs. Someone has to keep a little devil happy. I just came here for a cool root beer here in Donovan Gulch. People here are always so friendly. At least, they have been. Got yeah, a switch, idiots! Ball of the bandits riding into town! Sheriff? Right for the sky! Get on out of my town, you pussy bodies! This town of Galvin Gulch belongs to the butcher gang! Hey, partner. There's a way us town folks can sell disagreements. I'll chill it cook off! Did somebody say chili? Alright. If you win, you can lock me up in a pokey. But if I win, then you leave Galp and Ghost and never come back again. What do you have prepared, Bendy? My finest bacon chili. Oh. It's a spicy kick. Oh. Exemplary cuts of bacon. Oh. Extraordinary bean variety. Uh, this isn't part of the cook-off, but I made my pappy's cornbread recipe. Welcome, judges. After tasting my great aunt's pork neck and chowder, you will balk at that amateur's chili. Sir, it has a little kick. That's how green up and locked it. We will have to abstain, Mr. The Bandit. Say here! I'll show you! How? <laughs> Bendy and Boris, you are the true winners of this cook-off and have put an end to Barley the Bandit's reign of terror. The taste of justice is spicy and flavorful. Eat up, Bendy and Boris! <laughs> <laughs>